You are honorless because you stole, which is against the law. Your punishment is leave this room. No, not jail, not rehabilitation, just leave this room. <laughs> Lions and leopards sounds like a cat fight. <laughs> yeah. So, Tizen, they have declared him to be honorless. You'll find out what that means in a bit. It's um more than just leave this room. All right, it's Narak Said Effendi. Good day. I am the money changer, Dahab Kalis. Do you wish to exchange some foreign cunny, foreign coin? <laughs> I tried to say coin and money, and they just kind of smashed together for the money of Tarna. Yeah, I got some cash. Let's all of it. Katir Karak Mamnin. Okay. Uh, how much does that give us now? We have 180 royals. Exchange rate just really stinks. So, hi. May you have a good day as well. Tell me about this money stuff. Gold coin of Tarna is called a royal. The brass coin is called a common. These are the coins of the realm. So royals. A royal is the worth of the dinar in Shapir. And there are a hundred commons to one royal. So really all we did was change the name of what we're carrying and give him 20 of it. Exchange. I will trade foreign money for the money of Tarna. For this, I must charge a fee of 10% of the amount exchanged. I also trade 100 commons for one royal. Money, coin, moin. A regional, a regional greeting word in northern Germany. Interesting. Heard any rumors? Hmm... They say there is tremendous inflation in Silmaria, and that the exchange rate has bottomed out for the M M Mordavian coinage, since no one can travel in or out of the country now. Oh, you mean local rumors? Uh, no, sorry. Hey, tell me about money changers. I am most well, Fendi, thank you. I was once the money changer of Rasir, but when Adavis took over, I moved with my family to Tarna. We are most happy here. Yeah, um, that dude's dead. Tell about Shapir. You tell about it. You tell the money changer about your adventures in Shapir. It's good to hear such news of Shapir. My family and I moved here many years ago from Rasir. All right, we got some cash. It is time to go shopping. We need a lot of stuff. So, hello, leather worker. Zuri Buana. Uh... I'm trying to talk to you. I have many animal hides and leather items for sale, as you can see. The price I charge will depend upon the item. Okay, yeah, that's fair. I guess we can't ask about specifics, though. Rumors. I do not gossip, Wana. I didn't say goodbye. Leather. I make things from leather. Okay. I'm going to make a purchase. Um... We need some zebra skins. We're going to do a little bit of haggling. Let's see if we can get them. Can we go for three? That is too low. Okay. Can we go for four then? It is good. All right. Um, How many? I forget how many you need. I think it was either four or five. So we're just going to buy five. He nods in response. So we now have five zebra skins. And water skins, let's see, we can... Unfortunately, I don't think we can just type in a number anymore. So we gotta click down. Boop. It is good. Okay. Um, 
thinking, because I remember we need two of those. Screw it. We'll just five. It's a nice even number. Despite being an odd number. Yep, you pay for your purchases and put them away. Current time is... Eh, okay, late afternoon. Ah, I have... I see that you are in need of a new weapon. I have one just right for you. Here is the finest of daggers. It too is made of Damascus steel. It too is sharper than a serpent's tooth. It is small enough to be concealed up your sleeve, to be ready when your foe least expects it. I have, without a doubt, the best weapons for sale in all of Tarna. If you will be needing a weapon, I am the man you should see. Come, take a look, and buy what you like. Alright. Hi. Welcome, welcome. What weapon can I sell you today? I'm going to talk to him. Ask about weapons. I have weapons of all type. Look around, whatever interests you. I will be most overjoyed to sell to you. Oh, I can ask about each one, too. Spears. I have many spears to offer you. The standard spear is a most trusty weapon and can be very useful in hunting. I also have a fine spear for those special occasions like formal weddings and ritual monster killings. Daggers. I have two types of daggers to fill the needs of the most expert dagger user. I have throwing daggers for damage at distance, perfectly balanced and sharpened. They are made by the Amanra tribe. I also have a very fine dagger for when combat gets too close for comfort. Bows. I have a strong bow, handmade by the Lara tribe. I can make you a good deal on a Lara bow and the daggers of an Amanra. Arrows. I have some Conquest brand arrows in stock. Unfortunately, they're only for the longbow. Swords. Have you ever seen a lovelier sword? So delicately balanced, so smooth and fine. I make love to it every night. This is the weapon for heroes. Alright, well, we do need to buy some things, but I don't think we want that sword. We're going to need one fine dagger, even though we already have one. Can you give me 12? Be losing more money than I would earn for such a price, my friend. Make another offer. Okay, how about 13? I will starve at such a price. However, since you are such a most excellent customer, I will listen to your next offer. Okay, that's not working. Norm 14? So be it! You have bargained beyond my skills. I am overwhelmed. The deal is now yours. Alright, one dagger, please. I am not too happy. We had to pay a lot for that. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's not quite facing the right way for those sunglasses to work, is it, Phoenix? And we need a fine spear. Maybe we can do a little bit better on this one. 13? So be it! You have bargained beyond my skills, and I am overwhelmed! The deal, uh, yes, the deal's yours. Have a spear. All right, we got a spear. Let's see, what have you got? You can see a wide variety of weapons displayed around the stand. This man is a lively and active salesperson. You see a genuine imitation paper mache moose head, courtesy of the recycled prop department of Sierra Online. I wonder if that's the same one from Spielberg. Max communication, you can have half of everything. It is. If it's odd, it's minus one. We're probably not going to max communication because even if we talk with everybody about everything, it doesn't quite get there. All right, greet the oil seller. It would be a good day for me if only you buy some oil. Oil, Sahib, oil of all types, uses... I'm trying to talk to you. Tell me about your oil. I have fine virgin olive oil for any use you might have. 
Bazaar is a good place to talk with merchants and buy oil. Nothing else, just oil. Rumors? I have heard that the King of Tarna wants us to go to war in order to drive all the... Wants us to go to war to drive all the humans away from the city forever. Us as in you guys? Oh, there's a fast way to get max communication. Takes about five minutes. Do tell. Oil merchant. I am not going to try that. Been doing. May I sell you some oil? Yeah, actually, I think we do need some oil. 100, 100 uh, commons? What if we went for 90? Very well. You have out bargained me and I shall remain a poor man forever. May you slide easily. We need to go down here. She reminds you of your grandmother. You see a tent filled with strings of beads. On the boxes, you can see some cleaned fish, fr cleaned fresh fish. You can also see some dried fish for traveling rations. This guy looks like quite a character. This guy smells fishy. You would too if you sold fish all day. Okay, so the dude that sells the zebra skins and water skins. Position your talk icon on him where it also hits a topic and then hold enter. Cast making poor people even poorer, just like the last game. Maybe get a weighted item. Oh, well. That doesn't sound too exciting to watch, so I think we just won't do that. Beads, beads, very fine beads. Um. Hi, you greet the bead maker. Now, how excited, Effendi? Beads? Very good beads, very pretty, Effendi. You buy pretty beads. Bizarre? Bizarre? Ah, Effendi. Rumors. Rumors? Ma f so basically, she doesn't speak our language. She knows beads and she knows how to sell them. And if we try to. If we try to haggle her down. Very good beads. 95 commons. <laughs> she doesn't even understand that we're trying to haggle. It's 95 or nothing. So. 95. Very good beads. We need beads, though. Since we are not playing as a thief, we do not need any rope. So, you can see some finely woven ropes. We don't need them. Wow, he looks trustworthy. Greetings of a glorious day. Buy a rope. All adventurers can sometimes use a rope. Gotta hang people, right? Hey, we have a kata. Hello, kitty. You say hello to the kata. It is a pleasure to speak with you, as always. Um, hang on. Wow, it's oddly silent when the drummer stops. Uh, you want to... here. Greetings, Effendi. May I interest you in my carvings of wood? Oh, well, I guess we just talk with him. Kata? I am Shala, a Kata from the land of Shapir. Hey, you are the person we're looking for. Here you go. Thank you for your kindness in bringing me this note from my Aunt Shima. It is so wonderful to have news of home. It is sad to be so far from Shapir and those of which I care. Uh, passed it. There. Carvings. From the beautiful wood of the jungles of Tarna, I carve the wild animals which roam this land. And he's back. Bazaar is a very friendly place to be with so many talented people with which to deal. Rumors. There is much talk of war around here. I do not understand. Why go to war and kill one another when you can live in peace and harmony? Hey, have you seen our shiny pin? You wear the gift of the Kata, friend. The magic of the sapphire pin will always reveal that you are the Kata's hero. 
and always hide from the sight of an enemy. Hey, check it this check it out, it's shiny. Okay, we cannot give it to him. We cannot show it to him. Well, maybe he'll be interested in this. We buy the carved leopard. It will give me great pleasure to give you this leopard as a gift, my friend. I hope you will accept it as a token of our friendship. Okay. Good day, Master. How will this worthless son of a dog serve you? Perhaps you would like some meat? May I sell you some meat, please? This creature is some sort of humanoid canine. His clothes are neat and clean, if a bit hairy. But he has the unfortunate tendency to drool as a bit as he pants. So, hi, dog guy. You greet the meat seller. Oh, hello, 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 master, hello. Meat. Meat? You want to know about my meat? You actually want to know about my meat? How wonderful, how glorious. You're asking me, miserable monger of a, mongrel of a meat merchant, me, about my meat? Yes, this is the meat for you. It is the flesh of a pharaoh made for monarchs, the sustenance of sultans. We have rump roast of rhino, withers of wildebeest, and aged ankle of antelope. There is a stew of the new and zebu too. Zebu? There is a fillet of frog and a foot of warthog, the tongue of a tapir done in by a rapier. I have the brain of a baboon. <laughs> the lungs of a loon and the heart of a hippopotamus and the pancreas of a platypus. Choose from cold cuts of camel, sliced sliv slivers of sloth, my choice of cho my choice chops of cheetah, or bush bush brucks bush bucks in bro good god this is hard to say. Care for elephant fritters or porcupine pie? An ounce fresh ostrich or a bandicoot thigh? They're all to be eaten if only you'll buy. But if you won't buy them, I swear I'll cry. This guy is almost as good of a po better of a poet than Omar. Because he's also a cool dog guy. <laughs> Ask more about meat. On second thought, you'd rather not. Uh, the bazaar. You wish to ask me, the dog of Tarna, about the bazaar? I am honored and overjoyed. I am overwhelmed and underpaid. I am piddling at your feet with pride. You ask me about this bazaar? This, this, this is the bazaar! You want me to share the information with you? To inform you with the facts? To gather your gossip? I am thoroughly thrilled and totally tongue-tied. With dogged determination and a nose for news, I will sniff out secrets just for you. But he has nothing to actually say. Omar wasn't a poet. He was a sultan. Everyone clapped because they were scared. Yes. Probably yes. I mean, I called out his lack of rhyming a couple of times. Where it's just, he would have a line that didn't work with the, in rhythm. It didn't work with the rhyming. It was just a line. And it didn't work. And I was calling him a bad poet because of it. At the time, I had forgotten he was the sultan. Anyway, meat seller, how are you doing? You wish to know about me, not fit to light our feet and chew on your s slippers? Me? Oh, master, you do me too much honor. Call me Kalb, you know, here Kalb, this sort of thing. Call me anytime, anywhere, and if I'm not selling meat at my stand or taking care of my, the puppies while my mate rests or eating or sleeping, I'll come running to your side. So if I recall correctly, you can haggle this guy down really low. Like, really low. <laughs> oh, goody, 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 the good master offers a price. I will accept it. I am the most lucky calve in the world. And he's going to give us meat rations for one copper each. So let's just load the hell up. Oh, magnanimous, magnificent, munificent, benevolent, ben beneficent, benevolent, malevolent, non-violent, ultraviolet, ultra-liberal lover of small furry animals. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. May your meat never molder or crawl with disgusting, creepy maggots. You won't regret this. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You pay for your purchases and put them away in your backpack. 
thing is, I feel kind of bad for him. So, instead of haggling him down to one... It's, you know, 20. So, it's at least we're not just... Robbing him blind. There we go. And we still have 118 royals left. And that ought to be enough meat to carry us through the whole game. Uh, I can't remember if we need to buy your things or not. Amulets, protect yourself from all misfortune. Amulets! No, we don't need to buy what this guy's selling. Good day, Effendi. Hello, cloth seller. I am honored, Effendi. Cloth. I will be happy to sell you some fine clothes and robes worthy of Prince Fendi. I also sell bolts of cloth for the making of clothes. Oh, you sell robes? Well, I am a wizard. The robes which I sell are more suited to the natives of this land. The, Sim the Simbani wear them for special ceremonies and events. Oh, so not like wizard robes. Well, what about clothes? The clothes which I sell are very elegant and designed for formal occasions. So... Nothing we can really use. Tell me about the bazaar. This is the southernmost end of the bazaar, Effendi. And some rumors? Uh, forgive me, Effendi, but I do not listen to gossip, nor do I spread it. Cloth merchant. I am most well. Thank you. Alright, well... We can buy a robe. How about eight? That will be acceptable. And... Done! I believe that's... No, that isn't everything. I need to get back up. Okay. I didn't mean to do that. Because the day is burning fast. Fresh fish! Nope. We got all the meat that we need. Oh! There's one thing I forgot to buy over here. Hey, buddy. I'll click through whatever he had to say. Hi. Fruit merchant. Narek Saeed, Effendi. May you have a fruitful day. You gotta run around to this side to talk to him. Tell me about your fruit. Ah, uh, what fruit do you desire? All that you could ever wish. I have here pineapples, papayas, passion fruit, coconuts and limes, bananas, dates, and oranges. Purchase and eat to your heart's delight. Price? The price of the fruit is a mere pittance compared to the pleasure the fruit gives. You may have six of the fruits of your choice for but 50 comments. Uh, rumors. It's been talk that Tarna is going to war with Simbani. Very bad for business wars. Now the Ferengi say that war is good for business. How about are you doing? I am Samra bin Bala, the seller of succulent sensations for the mouth. Well, how about... Probably can't get him down to 40, so we'll just do 45. You will make me a poor man while you enjoy yourself with my fruit. Yeah, just... I still don't feel as bad as I do about conning the dog. A thousand thanks, and may you enjoy each delicious bite of your purchase while I go to the poorhouse. Just ignore the drummer. I I should tip him. Yeah, he, he's out there. He's, he's rocking hard. But I'm happiest when he stops. So we'll go ahead and pay him. Don't need either of you guys. Nope. Still don't need a rope to hang anybody. See, you can't actually talk to this dude. He smiles and shakes his head. He doesn't seem to know your language. But we'll go ahead and... Come on. The drummer smiles as you give him ten commons. Back up. Uh, 
And apparently that was worth some puzzle points, so thanks. Thanks only. We probably would have just missed that. Alright, we've got the oil. But we need something from these guys. It's, um... I want to greet them in, you know, the, the thing that we do. Merchandise. Just look around. Have you ever seen such quality used items gathered anywhere? Everyone is guaranteed anachronism. <laughs> Pop, don't you mean antique? I know what I mean. You keep out of this. As I was saying, they're all real antiques. You won't be able to buy anywhere else. So get them here. Uh, bizarre. If you're looking for the bazaar, you've come to the right place. If you have money, you're talking to the right man. I know I've got something you need somewhere. Rumors. There are some folks around here who say that Tarn is going to war. It's going to put us all out of business. Not me. Like to buy... <laughs> like to buy a World War One gas mask? Not many left in stock. Junk dealers. My associate and myself are quality dealers and used items of unbelievable value. We sell junk. I am called Anforta, and this dummy here is my son. Alright, well, you guys are selling the thing we need. We need this tender box. So we're going to go ahead and haggle them down. We can probably get it for 180. It's a deal. What do you mean it's okay? You want us to lose all our money, dummy? Come on, click. I'm clicking. I'm coming, Elizabeth. I'm coming soon. Our only son's trying to give away all the things we worked for. This is it. It's the big one. So who gets this reference? Oh, Pop. Always welcome back if you want to buy something. What is this game of <laughs> World War One gas mask? It truly is anachronistic. Well, he promised. A most glorious and lovely day, kind sir. Can I sweeten your life today? Um. Hi. You greet the honey seller. Good day, Effendi. Good day indeed. Honey. This honey is taken from the hives of wild bees, Effendi. My men travel all around the savannah, watching for the honey bird to guide them to a hive. They stun the bees with smoke and take the honey. I strain it and bottle it and sell the work of five men for only 80 commons. Bees? The wild bees nest near the tops of trees. They are very dangerous, for they will easily sting a man to death. Honey bird. The honey bird loves honey, Effendi. He tries to get people in the savannah to follow him to a hive. And there, he will wait for the person to rob the hive and leave the honey bird a gift of honey. When the person is gone, the honey bird flies down and eats the sticky golden honey. A most useful and cunning little bird is the honey bird, Effendi. Um, bizarre. This bazaar is the only place in Tarna where you can buy my fine honey. Rumors. There is much talk that the leopard men are killing the Simbani people. Why can't people live and learn to live in peace like bees in a hive? After he just told us that bees will sting a man to death. Yeah, why can't we be more like them? How are you doing, honey seller? I cannot ignore the value of your goodness, Effendi, to ask about a simple honey seller. I am Tame al Asal. All right, well, good talk. Can we get a f well, 75, whatever. That will do nicely good, sir. And we got a jar of honey. I believe that is everything that we need to buy from this place. From the bazaar. 